One of the most common responses I get to my fake mod videos is, I want to play that game. And usually the ones I cover are only the artwork, but today my response is, you can play it. Today we're going to look at Pokemon Sage, and yes, it has been made into a game. Now, Pokemon Sage is based on South America, but just like regular Pokemon games, there's a lot of other references as well. It's not just South American Pokemon. And yes, you can play it as a game today. I'm going to show you how you can play it a little bit later on, so make sure you keep watching. But first, let's choose our starter Pokemon. The grass starter is called Foliat and it's based on a hummingbird. But what I love about this Pokemon is that the tail actually starts as a little flower bud that blossoms as it evolves. So it evolves into Florabri, which is now a grass and flying type Pokemon, and then into Floresum. And as you can see, that tail flower has fully bloomed and it's actually based on the flower that hummingbirds eat, which I think is really cool. The fire starter is called Kidling and it is based on a goat. You can see it evolves into Pyrote, which becomes a fire and rock type, and then evolves into Flareys as well, which is now got that full ram influence and you can see those massive horns and you can see it also has the word Aries in its name with Flareys as well which is obviously the star sign you can see the flaming tail there as well and the water starter is called Aguade which is based on a marine iguana and what happens with marine iguanas they blow out air from their nose which gets all the salt water out of their nose and the salt actually gets encrusted on their noses because they keep blowing it out and that has influenced our look of our Pokemon here today it's gone all along the tail and its arms it's got made like a hardened shell of salt on it which I think is really cool. Which starter are you going to pick, guys? I have to choose the fire starter. I think Flareys is a very, very cool looking Pokemon. I absolutely love it. But let me know down in the comments which starter you pick. Some of the characters in this region. Now, the protagonist is called Simon or Sophia, depending on if you choose a boy or a girl character. And then, of course, our professor is Professor Mangrove. So his name is based on a plant, the mangrove plant, of course, following the tradition with our professors. But he looks like a little bit of a gentleman. I love his like old scraggly beard that he's got. And we're going to be introduced into the rival a little bit later on. Going into Route 1 now, but also you can see if you watch all my other Fake Mon videos, I've decided to show them a little bit differently so I can show you the whole line all at once. The reason I'm doing this mainly is because there's over 200 Pokemon in this region, but our Route 1 bird here is Harpy and it's based off the Harpy Eagle. This is, of course, a normal and flying type. So evolves into Aquila and then into Warquilla. And I kind of think Warquilla kind of reminds me of Braviary. I think with the coloring and the design, very much like Braviary, but I do love Braviary, so that's very cool. Our Route 1 rodent is called Cap which is actually based on a guinea pig, but then is now based on a capybara when it evolves into capybara. So it's a pure normal type Pokemon, but it almost looks like it's wearing a little hat and that's based off a Chalo, which is an Andean style hat that they wear. So I love that combination there. You don't normally see an ice type Pokemon so early in the Pokedex, but I think that's really cool. So this is Cub Zero and it evolves into Avalanx, pure ice type Pokemon. And as you can see, it's based off a Sabertooth Tiger and has little ice shards along its body as well. Next we have Fawning, which is actually based on a deer, but it has little fangs because it's more specifically based off a water deer, which are from Asia. So those little fangs stay throughout the whole line as it evolves into La Marche and then evolves into Buxton. It's got the massive antlers on Buxton, which I think looks really nice. And I love the coloring on it. The coloring looks really cool. So we can see, especially in that middle evolution there, it's kind of more based on a llama, of course, very popular in South America. Next, we have Penglyph, which is a pure ice type, but when it evolves into Penglacia, it's an ice and rock type based on a penguin, but it's also based on rocky mountain cliffs as well. Next, Next, another pure ice type is called Bluffin, which of course is based on a Puffin. Is there a Puffin based Pokemon at the moment? I don't know if there is. It's not often that we find an animal that we don't have a Pokemon that is already being covered. But I love the story of Bermudale. It's an ice and flying type, but it kind of looks like a phoenix. And that's because it is based off a Bermuda petrel, which is an animal that was thought to be extinct, but was actually only recently rediscovered. So it's kind of reborn like a phoenix. So the artist has used that inspiration here. But speaking of the artist, you're going to notice today that there's going to be a few different art styles. And that's because this is a culmination of a lot of people's work come together to make this game Pokemon Sage. So there's a lot of different artists, lots of different coders, lots of different game makers that have all come together. So what I want to do is point your direction into the wiki that was being made for Pokemon Sage. I'm going to link that down in the description. And I'm also going to link the Discord for this as well, where you can get regular updates on the game. So go and check that out in the description as well. Next, we have Coblin, which is a pure dark type Pokemon. This is based on a Kobold or a Goblin and actually has a split evolution. So if you evolve this Pokemon outdoors, it becomes Cobarus, which is kind of based on Cerberus. But if you evolve it indoors, it becomes Cobalt. So you can see Cobalt is a dark and steel type and Cobarus is a dark and fire type. But Cobalt, you can see its eyes are closed and that's because it's like it's blind because it's stuck indoors and doesn't go outside into the sunlight, which is cool. Next, Peblosa is a normal type, but becomes normal and rock as it evolves into Terra Tetra or to 
Gigard. And as you can see, they're like rocky versions of anteaters. Very common in South America. And next is our Pika clone for the region, which is Kowati. So it's based on a Koti again, another South American animal. Of course, pure electric type Pokemon. Next is Snome that evolves into Snoga. So these are pure ice type Pokemon. Obviously looking like an ogre or like a gnome. And you can see the shape of it is actually like a snowball as well, which I think is very cute. And then next is Talmoran, which is a pure normal type Pokemon, which looks like a very zen kind of Pokemon. It is based on the Tamarin monkey and then evolves into an orangutan based Pokemon in Orangutan as well. Again, looking very zen and has that long, massive beard, which I think is very cool. And then next is Lava Bidet, which is a pure bug type Pokemon, but this actually has a three-way split evolution. So if it evolves with higher attack rather than defense, it evolves into Caranox, which is bug and poison. If attack and defense are the same as each other, it evolves into Caradule, which is a bug and electric type. And then of course, if it's defense is high dense attack, it evolves into Caracross. So then kind of like Tyrogue evolving into one of the Hitmons based on its stats. And we can see it's based on the Bombardier Beetle, the Firefly, and the Ground Beetle. I think my favorite out of the three might be Caradule, looking like a Firefly. I think that's really cool. And then next is a normal and grass type Pokemon called Musberry, which evolves into Musbushield, which look like weasels, but actually has the word must in it. I'm not sure if I pronounce that correctly, which is Latin for mouse. Next is Baratel, which is of course based on a Honey Badger. It's got a very sticky gloop coming off of it there. Now, next we've got four Pokemon, but they're two separate lines. You're going to see the connections here. We have Grow Me Out, which evolves into Montague. And that's actually based on Romeo with the last name Montague as well. And then a separate Pokemon, but obviously connected. We have Tulip, which evolves into Capulili. So Juliet with the name Capulet. Obviously, our Grow Me Out is completely male and our Tulip is a completely female line. Next, we have two separate Pokemon, but they're kind of connected. So we have Dream Dream, which is the psychic type, and Macabre, which is the dark type. And of course, these are like opposites. So Dream Dream is actually based on sheep and it's like counting sheep, but gone bad. And then Macabre is like a wolf in sheep's clothing. And we can also see that Dream Dream is kind of based on the Ao Ao, which is a mythological tale from South America, which is a sheep, which is very evil and actually eats humans. And then we have another three-way split evolution. So we have Catruffle, which is a pure poison type, but based on when you evolve it, the status condition that it has. If it's asleep, paralyzed or fainted, will determine if it evolves into Mushroom, Lumishroom, or Perishroom, which I think is such a cool cool way to evolve a Pokemon. I love that. But I just love, I think Lumishroom is probably my favorite. It's got like that big mustache on it which I think looks very, very cool. Next is Rockano, which is a fire and rock type Pokemon. It, like it starts as just like a cindering little boulder, but gets bigger and then evolves into finally into a volcano. And then next is Panther, which is based on a Panther and then evolves into Jaguar, which is based on a Jaguar. Pure normal type Pokemon there. Next is Eureka. It's like when you go, ah, Eureka, and you've got an idea. This is a light bulb. So I think that's a really cool connection. So I can electric type and evolves into Cerebrob. So a very intelligent Pokemon. It's got like the Cerebral in there in its name. Next, I love this line. I think Scovelope looks so, so cool. I love that Pokemon. Starting with Peppet though, it is a Grass and Fire type evolving into Hopanero. Like it's got the Habanero in its name. And then Scovelope has Scovel in it as well. So very clever naming there. But uh, this line is actually based on the Jackalope, which is a mythical North American creature. Especially in Scovelope there, it's got like thorny antlers on its head, but of course has that fiery tail as well. Next, we've got a pure water type in Porta, which is just a cute little poppy. I love that with the name combining pour and water together. And then evolves into a water electric type, which is Hurricane. So obviously has the word Hurricane in their name as well. Next is a bug type Pokemon called Scalava. It's actually based on the Death's Head Hawk Moth. So that caterpillar is very creepy, but this looks insane. Of course, evolving into Muscoon and then Mortesk as well. It becomes a bug and flying based off that moth. I think this is a really cool bug line. Next is Vector, which is a pure poison type Pokemon. Then evolves into Vexel 2. And this is kind of like Porygon and Porygon 2, and obviously. So this is actually like an electronic kind of Pokemon, but it is actually based off a scorpion. But if you look closely, it looks like a computer mouse as well, which I think looks fantastic. And then next we have Bowie, which evolves into Scarbug, both bug and water type Pokemon. It's actually based on the little bobber that you'd see on a fishing line. And then of course evolves into Scarbug, which is kind of like a submarine and a water bug combined together. I'm going to pause for a second there, guys, just to remind you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't before, and also to give a like on the video as well. Well, and I also want to let you know that I stream Pokemon three days a week at twitch.tv slash metal 4 Click the link down in the description and come join the amazing community where I'm always shiny hunting and discussing the fake mon as well. So come check it out. Okay, back to it. Next, we have Totter, which is of course based on an otter. Evolves into Cascode and then to Lutrajet. Pure water type Pokemon here. And I love that the tail is kind of like a fish tail or like a mermaid tail as well, which is very, very cool. Next, Alpine evolves into Forask, pure grass type Pokemon, which is based on an elephant, of course. It starts as a pine tree, but then changes into like a bigger elephant. It's actually based on the African forest elephant. I love the trunk has like a massive log on as well. It looks like a big weapon. And 
And our first Aussie reference, I love it. This is Platterpow, which is a fighting and poison type Pokemon because the male Platypus actually has a poison barb. So it's good that it's got a poison type. Then evolves into Platy Cow. So you can see that one's been in a lot of fights. It's all bandaged up. Next is Cuppy, which evolves into Fetal Kish. It starts as a water, then goes into a water and fire type. This reminds me a lot of the Sinistry line. So again, we've got like a teacup, but then evolves into a Kettle, which I think is cool. All right, these two Pokemon are not related. They just both don't evolve. First, we have Shabalabat, which is a rock and fire type Pokemon, which is actually based on a flightless bat. That's why you can see its arms are so big. And also kind of looks like a gargoyle as well. And then the other one is a normal type Pokemon, No Bonita, which is obviously based on a bull, but it's got like a samurai looking helmet on it, as you can see by those horns. And very, very colorful. So it's kind of like a pinata as well. And next we have some pure psychic types. We have Cybex, which is based on an Ibex. And then Nuru, which is more so like based on a yak. You can see it's very woolly there. And it's got the Omega symbol there that have formed its horns. Next, I absolutely love this Pokemon. I think this looks so cool. So first is Flouger and then evolves into Belotus. And as you can see, there's different forms. There's a green or a blue version as well. But Belotus, I think it's fantastic. It looks so grumpy, but it has like a big flower around it. I think it's just perfect. I love it. So obviously based on a frog and then a bullfrog. <laughs> That's so cool. Next, two Pokemon that don't evolve, but again, they're kind of similar together. Both these Pokemon are based on Great Horned Owls, but Burrow more so based on the Burrowing Owl as well. But I love this. So Burrow is definitely more like aggressive and wild looking, I think. Bug Owl definitely looks more pleasant and definitely in like more of like a sleek design. Next is Kraliba, which is a water and steel type Pokemon involving into Kroglok. So these look awesome. So Kraliba definitely looks like a bullet. And then Kroglok is based on that pistol shrimp. Next, a couple of water and grass type Pokemon. Leafit, which obviously looks like it's got camouflage to look like a leaf. And then Chlorophyll, which is a dolphin. And that camouflage almost looks like plated armor on it now, which is cool. And then next we have a normal flying type Quibble, but it changes to a ground and flying type as it evolves into Fowattle and then Turkistador. Quibble is based on a Hoopo, which is just a little bird, but I love that it's almost got like a Native American poncho look over it as well. As you can see, the Native American influences, of course, when it evolves into Turkistador. Next, this line kind of reminds me of Type Null. I think it's because of the axe head on it. Rock and Flying type evolves into Condessa. These are also based on Condors. Next is Cardinal, of course, based on a Cardinal, and then evolves into Chardinal. Fire and Flying type Pokemon. I think these look very cool. I really like Chardinal, like the fiery part coming off the back of its head. Very cool. Now, next, I did tell you that I was going to show you who the rival was. This is the rival of the region, which is Ricardo. He's a friendly rival, though. But first, we have Scarrow. So, that is a pure ground type Pokemon, just one that doesn't evolve. But then, Sombrado is actually Ricardo's main Pokemon that he uses. As you can see, it looks like it's from an old West movie. It's got the hat. It's almost got the stance. Look at Clint Eastwood-esque. It's got that big poncho as well. So, definitely like Clint Eastwood. And you can see Sombrado matches Ricardo perfectly. Next, we have a very interesting evolution line here. So, first, we have Flask, which is a poison and ghost type Pokemon. And it evolves in different ways, whether it's holding a burn heal or an ice heal. So depending on what you give it when you evolve it, it can evolve into Noxial, but there's different forms. So you can see we've got that purpley form, and then we've got that ready kind of form. And then when you evolve it, doesn't matter which middle evolution you had, it evolves into Fumigast, which is all green, of course. Next is a Tomite and evolves into Orbitom, which is a normal electric type Pokemon. Now these are based on Adams, of course, but what I love is Orbitom. It's got that Albert Einstein kind of look with the big bushy gray mustache, which I think is very, very cool. Next is Squeak, which is a pure poison type Pokemon. This is based on the blanket octopus, which have like those long webs coming from it, which is different to like a normal octopus. And then it evolves into Squidrift, which is actually a poison and flying type Pokemon. So this is kind of like Drifloon in a way where it's like a hot air balloon floating around. That's what Squidrift is like, which I think is cool. Next, one of my favorite Pokemon in the entire region is Borealis. Doesn't evolve, but I think just looks amazing. It's obviously based on a wild boar, but obviously has the Aurora Borealis in it as well. Next, we have some turtle based Pokemon, which is called Chela Knight, which is a psychic and rock type, and then evolves into Galaxagos. So those like meteorites floating around it, you can definitely see Galaxy in the name. So it's definitely like a spacey kind of Pokemon. Next is Magnetoga, which is a pure steel type Pokemon. It's of course based on a Stegosaur. It looks like that with the spikes on the back, but the whole thing looks very industrial, very metallic, very machinery-like. And that's because it is also based on, and I have to look this up, Magnetogorsk which is otherwise known as Magnetic Mountain, which is a very industrial city in Russia. Next, another Pokemon I absolutely love because I do love my spider Pokemon, and that is Minarak, which evolves into Trenchula. Bug and ground type Pokemon combining a spider with like a drill as well. And there's also some Miner's Hats inspiration in there as well. That big golden circle in the middle of its head is because it's like the light on a Miner's Hat. Next, ground and grass type Pokemon is Potzel, evolving to Tracotta and then to Terracotta. Has Terracotta in the name. Obviously looks like a potted plant and it's got a little 
little cactus in there. Now the spider Pokemon, we've got Pubelet, and that evolves into Kahokasex. Bug and Vogue type Pokemon, as you can see, it's kind of got like the Day of the Dead references there, which of course in Mexico has those like sugar skull designs, which looks very, very cool. And the evolution is kind of like a scarab as well. Next, I love the references with this one. We have Cobra Skect, which evolves into Chambra, ground and poison types, and that's based on snake charming. So Cobra Sect has like a hat, which is kind of like the top of the basket, but then Chambra is actually based on the instrument that the charmer uses when they're trying to charm the snakes. We have some Egyptian references now with Kerop and then Chiroglyph, which is a ground and then a ground and psyche type Pokemon. Obviously it has the word Cairo in the name, but it's based on a Sphinx as well. Next we have Necronite, which is a rock and psyche type Pokemon evolving into Gravolum. And this is based on like a monolith or like a gravestone. And as you can see, it has some like Pokemon symbols on it. Then Dillowweed evolves into Pango Slash. So it starts as a grass and rock type becomes grass and steel. As you can see, the tail on Pango Slash is very metallic and steel looking. That's based on a Pangolin. Next, we've got some turtle Pokemon and I love my turtle Pokemon. So we have Ignis Shell, which is a pure fire type Pokemon. But as it evolves into Shellocene and then to Florapin, it becomes a fire and steel type. But you can see the shell, especially on the belly of the Pokemon is like steel, almost like some armor. And it's based on a Terrapin, which is a small turtle, but then also has like an alligator snapping turtle look into it as well, especially Florapin with a massive jaw. Next, we have some very evil looking uh, bird Pokemon here. We have Dasula, which is a ghost and flying type Pokemon, evolves into Necro and then to Voltergeist. I love Voltergeist. I think that looks so cool. Looking like a Vulture, of course, but it has like the Poltergeist kind of name in there as well. But the first Pokemon is actually based on a white crowned Weeter. So just kind of a small bird that evolves into a crow and then evolves into a Vulture. This next slide, I think the names are very interesting. Dinky Wink and then Dunky Wonk out interesting kind of names, but it's actually based on a Dunkleosus, which is a prehistoric fish. And this is actually the fossil Pokemon of the region. So that makes a lot of sense. And then the other fossil Pokemon is Calphite, which evolves into Indrolith and their rock and ground type Pokemon. And these are actually based on the gigantic hornless rhino, which are huge. It was actually one of the largest mammals to have ever existed. And then next to independent Pokemon, we have Solakari, which is a normal and flying type, which looks like a toucan. Very colorful. I love that. And then next we have Nursery, which is based on a nurse shark, but also it looks like a nurse like it's got the red cross on its head it's like a nurse's cap next is lone leaf which is a ghost and grass type pokemon looking like a tribal mask which is very cool evolves into four thorn as well next i love this line this looks so cool culture guys i love having cold and poltergeist together evolving into phantasmia pure ghost type pokemon and this is based on a puka which is the ghost horse from celtic folklore next we have chihaha and Halloquin. those are fantastic names whoever's coming up with the names of these regions absolutely fantastic job i love these like a chihuahua and like harley quinn as well like a normal type Pokemon, obviously like clowns and jesters. And next we have Chegrin, which evolves into Cheshade. Dark and psychic type Pokemon is based on a Cheshire cat, but is also based on a Nekomata as well, which is a mythical two-tailed shape-shifting cat from Japan. Then next we have Dopol, which is a pure normal type Pokemon evolving into Artifish. Artifish doesn't look like a normal type Pokemon. It looks like a water Pokemon. And obviously has a Pokeball designed as well because it is using the Pokeball like a lure to bait other Pokemon in, which, you know, we've seen multiple times over our Pokemon before. And then next is Thorax, which doesn't evolve as a pure bug type Pokemon and is based on a fireman's axe, but then also on a honeypot ant as well, which is why it's got that giant abdomen like the honeypot ant, as you can see. Next, we have some hyena based Pokemon, but also look like greases as well from like a 1950s movie or something. So we've got Pomperunt, Pompagoon, and then Haikusa as well, which has like the Yakuza name in there. So next we have two Pokemon that are like counterparts. They do not evolve into each other. We have Ericoon, which is like based on a red panda and then Lucoon, which is more so based on a raccoon. And that's because they're based on red Red blood cells and white blood cells. Next, we have Toxedo, obviously based on a mosquito and evolves into Sanguido. It looks like the body of Toxedo is filled with blood and as it sucks it up, gets more full, which I think is very cool. Bug and poison type. Next, we've got some pure steel type Pokemon. We start with Oret, which looks kind of like a dinosaur, but then evolves into Anvilid and then Magroplex. And this is actually the evolution of how snakes started as legged reptiles and then became more efficient as they got rid of their legs and evolved into like what we have now as modern day snakes. And Magroplex is actually based on the Titanoboa, which was a prehistoric ginormous snake. And just so you know, Titanoboa, the average length was 13 meters long. So very big. Next, we have VP, which is a duo Pokemon, which reminds me a lot of Tandem Mouse. We've got like the male and the female together. And in the region, these are the Pokemon that help Nurse Joy, like your Chansey and Ordinos as well, which is cool. Next is Chilloth, which evolves into Sokoth, and that's pure water type Pokemon. And they're based on sloths, but also have like flotation devices around.
around them or floaties. It's almost like they're too lazy to swim, so they need a flotation device. Next, we have Chayan, which is a pure fighting type Pokemon, and it's definitely got like Mayan warrior inspirations, but this has a split evolution based on whether it's male or female. So Maki Warrior is the male type, and Okurumi is the female version. Next is Fortify, which is actually like the Phoebus or the Magikarp of the region. Very, very useless kind of fish, but it evolves into Orwish, which is a water and psychic type Pokemon, which is our Milotic or our Gyarados. So a useless Pokemon evolving into a very, very strong or beautiful Pokemon. And of course, that is based off an ore fish as well. Next, Smashiary is actually based off a Secretary Bird, which are birds that have massive long legs like that and use it to kick their prey to hunt them down. So that's what Smashiary uses as well. It uses its kicking as its weapon. Next, we've got a Chameleon-based Pokemon. This is actually more so the Horned Chameleon. And as you can see in the final evolution, has those massive horns. So we've got Sladic, Telshin, and Chameleon. Om being a measure of energy. Next, Glorqua evolves into Hydranticus. So water and poison type Pokemon. And these are based on the blue Gorkus. So I think Hydranticus looks amazing. That looks super, super cool. Next, we have another bug type in Lintel. And as it evolves into Silkinda or Paramoth, depending if it's male or female, has a different look to it. But this is actually based on the Venezuelan Poodle Moth, which is very, very fluffy looking and very cute. Next, Parapy evolves into Marasite, bug and water type Pokemon. This is actually based on the tongue eating louse, which is a bug that actually eats the tongue of a fish and then lives as the tongue. And that's kind of gross, but that happens in the real world. So it's cool to have an inspiration for something like that. Next, we have some primates. So we have Chimpoka, Simeon, and Monkey Zuma, all fighting type Pokemon. I think they look fantastic. Monkey Zuma also has the name Montezuma in the name, which is the name of Aztec Emperors. Next, we have Enigmite, which is actually based on a dung beetle. And you can see instead of the dung, it's got a rock, but that rock becomes a crystal ball when it evolves into Igmantis, which is a bug and psychic type. Next, we have RGB and Roy G. Biv, obviously based on RGB, the coloring system, and Roy G. Biv are the colors of the rainbow. This is actually based on the rainbow serpent from the Aboriginal Dreamtime, so against some more Australian references. Next, we have Barracute, which evolves into Jorgadon, so they're pure water type Pokemon. Firstly, combines a Barracuda, but also like a Mud Skipper as well, because it's obviously got hands, and then evolves into Jorgadon, which definitely looks like a Moray eel, but kind of like an alligator head on it as well. Next, Drosire is a pure grass type Pokemon, which evolves into Sunjuke. It's got like those South American headdresses, which look very, very cool. Next is Whisperant, which evolves into Phantom, which is a ghost and fire type Pokemon. And these are based on Chinese fire lanterns, which are used to commemorate the dead. Hence, it's a ghost type. And I love the idea for these two Pokemon, Glockto and Lavoon. It's kind of like a lava lamp in these Pokemon, which I think is such a cool idea, which is why it's a water and fire type. So a squid and then a whale. Next, we have Gila, which is a pure poison type, evolves into Hornizard and then Ankylosaur, which I think looks fantastic. It's a poison and ground type Pokemon and starts off as a Gila monster, which is a venomous lizard in the US and Mexico, but then evolves into Ankylosaur, which is based on the Ankylosaurus, which is a dinosaur, but also combines the thorny devil as well, as you can see by the massive spikes on it. A similar vein here where we start as a lizard that evolves like into a dinosaur. We've got Basilisk, which evolves into Hornotherp and then Dilophlora. So starting as like a Basilisk lizard and then its final evolution is a dinosaur with feathers on it. And I absolutely love the name Baboom. Obviously a baboon, but got like the boom of a thunderstorm as well. As you can see, it's got like dark thunderstorm elements all over its body and tail. And it's got like yellow spikes to imitate electricity as well. Very, very clever design and clever name, I think. And the facial markings it's got is from a mandrel, as you can see in the middle there, which is cool. Next, we have Isotope and Chernobyl. I don't know about the idea about having Chernobyl as a Pokemon, but as you can see, the nuclear reactor there in like the shell of the snail. Next is Wendingo, which is a pure ice type Pokemon, which is based on a Dingo, but then it evolves into Carnival, which is actually based on a Wendingo, which is a very spooky looking mythological creature. Very, very scary looking. And then next is Luchido, which evolves into a Luchidon, which is a fighting and electric type and is like a donkey, but also has that masked wrestler kind of inspiration. Next is Grolem, which evolves into Comosus, which is a rock and grass type Pokemon. As you can see, it's like an old robot golem kind of thing covered in grass and moss and bushes and i haven't seen it but apparently it's based on laputa castle in the sky next is larvin there's a lot of bug pokemon in this region but they've all got very cool inspirations i think larvin evolves into dracoon and then into basilisk which is bug type evolves into a bug and dragon type which i think is very cool combines a stag beetle with a dragon as well now the dragon now we've got carbite which evolves into pressor and then into diamat and diamat's actually a dragon that is made of diamonds so he's very very hard and very very 
very sturdy, which I think is a super cool idea. Next is Queco, which is based on a gecko, but he's also based on Quetzalcoatl, which is an Aztec deity. So Queco evolves into Tozeko, Grass, and then into Grass and Dragon, which is cool. Next, we have Crackling, which evolves into Fulong. So it's actually based on a Chinese firecracker and then, of course, into our Chinese dragon. Starting as a fire, but then a fire and dragon as well. I'm liking these kind of like final evolutions being really cool looking, but also being part dragon type as well. Next is Dragar, which evolves into Ragnaro, which is a water and dragon type Pokemon. Love having some Vikings references here. We've got like the Viking log boat, which is called a Drakkar, as you can see by the name. And then Ragnaro kind of sounds like Ragnarok and Ro. Now there are nine legendary Pokemon in the region. And before we get to that, I did say I was going to show you how you could download this game. So the wiki is linked down in the description where you can see, you know, all the little sprites, which I think is very cute for all of the Pokemon. But you can also go and download the demo for this. Now the demo for this game actually goes through a bunch of gyms and towns. And you can see heaps of Pokemon in this demo as well. Unfortunately, the game is not finished yet, which is why I'm also going to link the Discord so you can keep up to date with the development of the game. But the demo you can play right now. The link for it is down in the description. So go and check it out. And then now we're going into the legendaries of the region. There's actually quite a few legendaries here. So first is Arons, Arion, and Eres. And these are the golems of the region. So first we've got our Bronze Age going into our Iron Age and then kind of like into an electronic technological age. So Steel and Fire, Steel and Poison, and then Steel and Electric. So they look very, very cool. I love the looks of those. And then our next three are the legendary spirits of the region. So we have Patama, Machima, and Yakuma. And these are all based on different Incan gods. So we have a Grass and Ghost type, Flying and Ghost type, and then a Water and Ghost type as well. And then next is our main legendary for the region. I absolutely love this. This is called Quetza. Again, based on the Quetzalcoatl. But as you can see, it's got two forms. So it starts as like a stone form. It looks just like a, a stone statue. But then it can become a space form. And as you can see, the massive wings, it's definitely come out like a massive eagle. And you can see it's got like massive galaxy star spacey kind of look in those wings, which I think looks fantastic. I love the look of both of these forms of this Pokemon. And then we have our two legendary idol Pokemon. These are legendaries, although they kind of look like mythicals to me, I think. But this is Zotchi and Zotek, Psychic and Fire, and then Psychic and Steel type Pokemon. And again, these are based on Aztec deities. It makes sense that like the gods of the Aztecs would make the legendary Pokemon. And these are based on, I'm going to have to look it up again. Zotchi Quetzal was the fertility and beauty goddess. And Quimbeya is the other deity, which was based on the culture and gold working. Hence Zotek looking very golden and very shiny. What an amazing region. Let me know your favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon with Flareez, the fire type starter, Quetzal, the legendary, Borealis, and Ankylosaur. I thought they were all fantastic. Make sure you subscribe for more Fakemon regions and check out some of my other videos as well. Thanks, guys.